Hello everyone, my name is Pedro Oliveira and I'd like to show you a bit of out system supplier self-service. As you probably know already, supplier self-service is a solution that allows you to leverage the power of the self-service interfaces to extend your current procurement processes outside of your organization. This allows you first and foremost to allow your suppliers to have a lot of access to the information that you currently have held in-house and that you want to share with them without having to rely on the traditional processes of using phone calls, emails and having all the administrative processes around it. Furthermore, for your own use internally, it's a great way to have your people being able to easily ac access all the information, to have a centralized view of all your supplier data and to analyze what you're doing in terms of spend and in terms of procurement so that you can further improve your relationships with your suppliers and maximize the savings you can have through procurement. Okay, let me first show you how a supplier can see supplier self-service and what he can do with it. Let me log in here as Sally Manning. Sally Manning is a sales manager of this company we have here which is Tartan and she's one of the suppliers of the company which holds this supplier self-service system. Once Sally logs in she has immediately a, an overview of the most important data to her. She can see the most recent purchase orders, the most recent invoices and furthermore she has information on the most important KPIs that are relevant for her to understand what relationship she is having with the buying company. Besides this, she also has a very well structured interface which has all the menus in the top through which she can navigate to access the full information and she has an area which has the things which are most relevant for quickly accessing information I'm working on, knowing which things I have to do, etc. I would draw attention particularly to the inbox where you can see that being a supplier I have purchase orders that I need to accept, that I have invoices which seem to have some kind of errors. That's the kind of information that you can see in the inbox and that allows you to very easily know what you have to do right away. Um, okay, let me just quickly navigate through the application so that you can see what kind of stuff you can do here and so that you can see the power that suppliers now have which avoids them to constantly talk to you more than you want. Well, one of the things I, I would like to show you first is this catalog section. The catalog is a place where suppliers can place full information of their catalog and you actually have two views of this catalog you have a catalog which you which you as a supplier fully manage and which allows you to upload all the information that you want to share with the company regarding your products and then you have a different section which is the registered products which shows you a listing of all the products you sell which the buyer has registered in their SAP and therefore which they can directly buy now I would like to show you the contracts part. Contracts, as you guys know, are things that a supplier and the buyer have established which say that the buyer will buy certain things to the supplier over a certain period of time with this conditions and the supplier will provide them with a specified price. Now you can see all the contracts you have here are the SAP contracts and you have full information on what they are. For example, when you open the contract, you have the full information associated. You can see, for instance, uh, the type of contract, the date, the business unit, etc. And you can see very important stuff such as the payment terms which are applicable for this contract. You can also see something very important which are the documents associated to this contract. These are documents that the company can add to the SAP contract using this application and which can have the full specification 
of the contract legal terms for instance or further details on the contract which are not specified using the standard details information furthermore you can collaborate on the contract let's now see orders one good thing about the orders tab is that you not only have here the full information on the orders that over time the buyer has asked to this specific supplier you can actually see things like which orders you have to accept because the orders may have been issued but they have been they haven't been accepted yet so as a supplier you can just say here and open this order and you can see all the details it has associated associated you can see which are the items which are specifically being asked for in this order if everything is okay you can say yes I will provide this so I'll just say approve purchase order I can say everything everything's fine and I have the item in stock and after you have approved it this information goes back to the buying company and they will know that you have approved this purchase order and that you will ship this to them so as you can see you don't have to exchange faxes, you don't have to exchange emails, you don't have to do phone calls you just issue the order and the supplier on the other side will know that you have made this order and will know that they have to ship it and they will approve it and you will know if they accept it or not you don't have to call them to know if, if everything is okay okay <clears throat> not only you can receive the purchase orders and approve them you can see which are the invoices associated to them let's just open an in a purchase order which is here and let's see how you can have the the view of everything which is connected to this purchase order for example in this purchase order you can see the invoices associated in this case there are actually no specific invoices but there could be invoices here you can see if there are payments associated also no payments yet for this one and you can see the collaboration history around this invoice you can also see in the items other information which is associated by clicking the small plus we have shipped this and therefore we have the information on the goods receipt date by the buyer so now what else can you see well invoices we have actually seen already now when you come to payments you have the information on everything that was paid to you when you see this as a supplier so what happens is that they will be able to know which things you have paid or not so you'll no longer get all those calls from the suppliers asking you what about this invoice has it been, has it been paid already you don't have to to go through all the trouble of answering that million phone calls regarding payment you can just tell them you have supplier self-service login and they will know that from that point on they'll just go to invoices open the associated payments and they will know if there have been payments I can go to payments and I can see that there are no payments associated to this one so in this case they will know there, there has been no payment if we had made the payment that information would be here and therefore they would know that they didn't have to call us they just have to wait for the transfer to happen at the bank for instance one last thing I'd like to show you as a supplier is that in invoices it can happen that the invoice you have issued has some kind of mismatch you can actually see here there are two invoices with errors what this means is that SAP has tagged them as with errors and then here the supplier can look at the, at the invoice and know okay there are issues here because we have received an amount different from the one which has been invoiced in the goods received we have actually received nothing uh, but we have been advised for everything so there's something wrong here and then the supplier will know that there is something wrong and they'll have an indication of what it is and they'll be able to solve it this makes it much or much more easier even if you have to do a phone call uh, both people have the full information in front of them so it's very very easy to, so to sort out the issues okay guys let's now leave 
the personality of Sally Manning. We are no longer a supplier and we will enter as Peter Mann. Okay, so we're now Peter Mann. Peter Mann is a purchasing manager of the company. It's the company which owns supplier self-service and his daily job is to manage the relationship with the suppliers and understand how spend in general is being managed to see if there are improvement opportunities in terms of cost savings, of centralization, of suppliers, logistics savings, etc. So this is a guy which really needs a tool that gives him a 360 degree view of what he's buying and to who is buying it. So let's just log in as him. So as you can see, as he logs in, he has all the information he needs at his fingertips. You can see that he also has the most recent purchase orders and invoices. Here he has a view so for all the suppliers of the company, unlike the specific supplier we saw just now, which only had its purchase orders and its invoices. Of course, he has the view over what has been spent over the year. He has the view of what are the suppliers with the most significant relationship with the company. You can also see which are the areas in terms of industry in which we issue more invoices. Of course, being the purchasing manager, we have a lot of things to handle. And you see the inbox has a lot of information like we know there are a lot of invoices with errors that we have to handle. Okay, there's a new supplier which has applied to this portal which we haven't approved yet. There are seven suppliers which decided to change its information that we need to approve. There are a number of payments which are expiring and then there's some e-sourcing information which is a different module within our procurement offer. So one of the things I would really like to show you in supplier self-service and it's I would say one of the two most compel compelling things about supplier self-service I think is the view the fully integrated view that one can have over over a relationship with one supplier. Let's just open here the supplier which we have been dealing with just now which is Tartan and when you open Tartan when you open the information on Tartan you can see you have all the relevant information in one place. To start with you have all the details which are important about this supplier. To start with you have all the details which are important about this supplier like some of its most basic information like ID status and name, its web page, the categories it, it provides, very important stuff which is which is the score of this supplier and how does it compare with the average. We'll look into this a bit more just now. Of course you have the very important contact information and you have bank account information. Then there is something which is you have a survey which you can ask suppliers to fill in and which you can customize to your specific needs very very easily where you can ask, him, ask them pretty much anything you want to. In this specific case we asked what type of company are you, how much capital do you have, what's your Dun & Bradstreet number, etc. And you have a plethora of information which you can customize to ask your supplier. Now where it starts getting really really interesting is that you have all these tabs which are really really important because you have in one place the view over all the contracts that we have with the supplier, over all the orders which we have made with this supplier, over all the invoices with, it, with this supplier, over all the payments, all the products we have in SAP from this guy and of their catalog and all this information about all this different data which you usually had to go to SAP to 10 different places to find you can see it in one place. Also very important of course is the collaboration because in this collaboration tab you can exchange some notes like I would like to thank you for your efforts in delivery time and you can attach documents regarding things that are important 
in your relationship to the supplier and of course you have change history and in change history you have a log of everything that has happened to this specific object which is the supplier and you also have this information in pretty much everywhere else contracts orders invoices etc you can see that some emails have been sent some changes have been made and you actually have the details so you have the full change log information which you can use for purposes such as Serban's Oxley compliance or other auditing rules that you may be obliged to. So like I promised you, we'll now look at the scoring information. It really just looks simple because what you see is the supplier score and the average for the suppliers of this score, but this, uh, this is actually very very important information. Let me just show you how you can configure the scoring information so that you understand how we compute this number. As you can see here in the configuration play in the configuration screen, there are two groups of things we're measuring. There's a set of predefined KPIs, and these KPIs are things that are coming from actual information from SAP, things such as how many deliveries have happened without any returns, what percentage of the invoice items has matched correctly, uh, have, deliveries, have deliveries been on time, has, have the quantities been reliable. So this is directly measured and comes from SAP information. And then there's a different set of information which you can use to compute the supplier score, which is the response to a survey. And this is a survey which an employee of the company can fill in for each supplier specifying other things which cannot be directly measurable but which are important to assess how good or how bad the supplier is. This is actually very dynamic and you can change the survey very easily. Let's take a look at the score of this supplier of Tartan to see what exactly is in here. As you can see, the first thing we're, the first thing we're showing is the value over time of the final value of the score. This is how the score of Tartan has evolved over time. As you can see, he has been improving since we started measuring it, unlike most of the suppliers which have actually decreased their performance over time. Then you have the information over the individual KPIs which are being measured. Of course in the predefined KPIs which are measured from SAP data, you have here the chart of how it has been evolving in terms of deliveries without returns, how it has been evolving in terms of invoice items, on-time deliveries and quantity reliability. Then you have the score in terms of the survey answers which have been given and you have all that information compared to the average of the suppliers. Okay, and now, now let's just quickly, quickly go through the information which, we which you can also see on the supplier view. You can see of course the, the same contracts you saw on the other side. Of course you can see the contracts for all your suppliers in one place. You can see which ones are active and which ones have expired already you also get information on which ones are expiring soon in this specific case we have none but you would normally see here in the inbox if one of your contracts was about to expire so that you knew you had to do something about it then if you go to orders pretty much the same applies it's the same view as the supplier but here you have the full information for all your suppliers and you have the information for both purchase orders which have already been posted and which are visible by the supplier and information about the ones which have not yet been made visible to the supplier but which have been issued already internally. Of course you can also see which purchase orders are pending the supplier approval, uh, which ones have returned items, which shipments have been made etc. Then on invoices, the same applies, invoices for all suppliers, you can see which ones have errors, which, are not, which ones are the most recent ones, etc. 
and pretty much the same applies to payments also all payments for all suppliers can be seen in one place and you can also filter this information both here and in the other tabs by keyword, by supplier, by business unit, by due dates and payment dates, etc. Whichever is relevant for what you're doing. Then products, here of course you have the catalog from all your suppliers and not just from one supplier as in the other side. And finally, this is the second really really cool stuff I said about our product after the 360 degree view. Remember? It's the analytics. And you can see showing up here as we speak in analytics a series of shart charts which give you very very compelling and very very important information about your spend. You have things such as how is our spend evolving over month, how is our spend by product type evolving over time. Okay guys this is pretty much what I wanted to show you in terms of supplier self service this was already, I believe, quite comprehensive, but there is one final thing I need to tell you, which is, you have seen a lot of functionality, which is, I think, really interesting and it's really powerful for you guys. But one key important thing about supplier self-service and our procurement solutions in general is that if you deploy them, you will have the power to change them to your needs. We sell our solutions fully open. You can actually use the OutSystems platform, which is very powerful in terms of time to market and the amount of things you can change to change the full thing and adapt it to your specific needs. For instance, supplier self-service, as you guys know, is connected to SAP and gets a lot of information from it. But if you need to also connect to some other system like Microsoft Dynamics, or if you need to connect to Salesforce or anything else, you can very easily easily customize that into the solution and create that link yourselves. And if for some reason your process is slightly different from what we have predicted in the solution, you can also change the way the workflows are working and you can change the approvals which are required. So you have the full power to change the solution to your needs and to the things which are important for your organization. And this is it guys, this is what I want to tell you. So thank you very much for watching this webcast. If there are any questions that you'd like to see clarified, please just send us an email to info at outsystems.com and they'll promptly reply to you at any time.